button uploaded policy means by the way those are the extension policy here uh, let's for instance uh, i have to tell you i have to show you about system identification so click in the system identification here so the system identification is already linked with the matlab here so this particular extension is very important especially in the uh, 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 robotics and the system modeling especially in uh, it's very important course by the way in uh, postgraduate uh, department of electrical department of mechanical department of electromechanical and mechatronics uh, areas you have to use uh, uh, this system because you have to identify your system so first of all you have to give here the data import the data from somewhere and then you have to estimate the uh, data abuse it the time plot, the data spectra, the frequency function, and uh, workspace and the linear time uh, invariant period. So this is LTM means linear time invariant. So in a modeling and simulation uh, course, uh, you have to use uh, this system identification. So for my case, I have to select one example. By the way, here, uh, take example. So in this particular example, I have the workspace variables here, input U2 and the output Y2. So my data name is dryer. So my starting time in here is zero second and my sampling time, the pill time is in a 0 0.08. So then I have to import that in this particular a visual display. So here I have to import because every parameter is already inserted in this box so i have to import that so you have to see the dryer function here so the dryer function here so this is the dryer function you look here so the time domain data set with 100 1000 samples and the time sample is in a 0.8 0 0.08 second and my name the name of the uh, uh, plant is dryer the output is temperature so temperature unit if satisfied zero degree celsius input power in a watt is also already displayed in here so the color is 001 so a color identification is already uh, under it so i have to apply that apply that or just leave it then my time plot in here is uh, 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 so this is my time plot so for this particular uh, 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 dryer so the temperature if the temperature versus uh, uh, the power so you have to see in here so this is the time extension you know look look this uh, loop is here so this is a power so it is a constant in here and which uh, is especially the time power versus time graph is after uh, 22.05 second its extension is you know, decreasing here so decrease the remain constant again increase then in a constant range so this is the uh, time plot of the uh, power versus temperature here so the next thing uh, I have to show you here is uh, uh, the uh, data spectrum here. The data spectrum is also the uh, ferrodiograph. Ferrodiograph here, temperature versus power is also displayed in here. So you have to look, by the way, just click and take to forward and reverse. So you have to see the visible line is by the way here so again we have to take back so from power power versus a frequency uh, graph and temperature versus a, a periodic graph here so the other thing uh, i have to uh, tell you in here is uh, a frequency function so the frequency function for the time being is not be uh, uh, visible by the way it just i have to show you this is amplitude this is amplitude and phase so the phase 
process efficiency graph again here so you have to look the a little bit yeah so this is the amplitude versus uh, 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 frequency graph so the frequency function data the power versus temperature so by the way uh, i have to input this so the data views are temperature plot data spectrum and frequency function here so the other thing i have to tell you in here is the system preprocessor so now select the channel select the experiment merge experiment select the range remove the means so filter here so i have filtered the here the ranges and the pass band here this is a pass band this is a dry rift and filter insert revert all are already in this temperature versus a, a periodograph uh, graph scene system identification so the other thing i have uh, to notify you is uh, the estimation so this is a transfer function model a state space model process model let's say state space model here so the state space model specify the value and the peak here so so i have to continuous a uh, uh, time so estimate so you have to see the state space model state space model identification so the state space model identification in here is the time domain data dryer so after all you have see the output graphs in here can you see this is a state space model for this function this is in the output here so the other thing i have to uh, notify you in here is uh, uh, also this is a state space model so i have to change the estimation the process model again the process model means uh, we have uh, a transfer function this is a transfer function the output versus the input so i have a zero delay integrator function as well as i have ktp noun value and initial keys and boundaries are also available in here so the frequency uh, uh, spectrum in here is like this so this is uh, the frequency transient response this is a transient response so the graph starts from zero and it is it is it, it goes to increase increase to some extent and after reaching some point it remains constant and finally when the time tends to increase the extension constant graph is also increased in this particular response as you can see from this uh, visual display so the other thing is you know, the frequency response frequency response is also uh, uh, like this so you see all the things in this system identification for a given system uh, uh, you have to see the system identification here so the other thing uh, i would like to tell you is in here this is uh, uh, the output process here so now i have to select channel and filter pre sample and remove means select range so i have to filter here so the filtering graph is like this so this is all about system identification uh, part parties so uh, import the output here so enter the name of this uh, uh, linear time invariant workspace so it's okay ww so then import so it does not exist in the workspace just ignore it so the other thing i would like to share is trash here trash means you have to uh, uh, click you have to delete the value the workspace so you in workspace and to the linear time variant system uh, the transfer function model so just estimate the transfer function 
turned out for to be this is a steady space this is a transfer function so the transfer function state response is also displayed in such a way this is again the frequency response this is also the transfer function for this particular so you can see this is a plant this is a steady state response this is a transfer function one so you have to change the transfer function model state space process model polynomial model nilinear model let's see the learning linearity of this uh, dryer plant uh, is also uh, described in here so we have input u and output y so regressor is you have my we have a plant here so then linear block and linear block so we have to predict the predicted output y so i have to estimate by the way the power is a, a one and the output temperature uh, number is two so the temperature uh, t1 and t2 so i have to estimate this uh, in order to check the nonlinearity model of this dryer so it's all already imported so look this is the linearity graph look this is the state response state response uh, of time graph here so you have to see here this is the graph initially uh, starts from constant uh, around 3 I mean 2.7 and reaching some point it goes to increase for a little second and then back to the constant point in here and again the time uh, is you know, starting from zero and it tends to uh, two points from zero up to two so this is the nonlinearity of uh, dryer plant mm, system identification so this is the state estimation of the nonlinear model for the uh, 1000 uh, uh, sampling time so this is the nonlinearity this is a transfer function this is a state space so so the point here uh, i'm gonna share you uh, my brother and sister you're gonna look my youtube channel especially in the system identification of this particular class you have to uh, uh, upload the, your system first of all whether the uh, uh, algorithm function or which is whether the uh, simulink block so first of all you have to import your data import your data uh, which is a time domain data a frequency domain data data object whatever whatever uh, it is so first of all you have to import the data from somewhere uh, where you made before and then after you have to see all the property in this uh, system identification so by the way this uh, particular uh, episode is a very important class you have to see the transfer function graph the steady state and the nonlinearity of this particular plant by changing this uh, uh, points in here so thank you for today's uh, next time you will see about the nonlinearity arx of the uh, the uh, automation of the vehicle uh, dynamics so thanks for today